Yeah. We thought we'd surprise you with the night shift, though I think we have been promising this. So, how are we all? Um, I'm, God, I've, my hair's gone I've got a confession today. to make. Oh, we've just gone green. Oh, got a confession to make. I haven't done a Cornwall vlog tonight, I'm afraid. You know why? Because I forced him to have a night off tonight. And we've had a really nice... Haven't we had a lovely evening? It's been lovely. We really, really needed it with all the family. Oh, uh, Nanny God. Di is with oh, us. Oh, my God. And the, girls, <laughs> and the girls actually sat with us. Yeah, it was nice. And it was just so nice. Oh. Five of us just had a really... Mark, I'm trying really to get the right what colour. What are you doing? I'm trying to get the right colour. Why won't... Why is it doing that? Nads. That's quite good. But we don't want We that. don't want to be green. Oh, that's really annoying. That's just just leave it like that. Yeah. We haven't oh, got any sorry. light now. They can see us. Um, it's the Disco Live. Uh, can I just say a quick hello to Nikki Burton? Hello, Nikki Burton, if you're still here. You said that you don't often say hello or Aww. leave comments after. If you're a after shy, live. if you're a shy sub, say I'm shy and we can say hello. And Hi, Hazel, Jessica. Hazel Caldera, welcome back after a while. Apparently you haven't got a night shift in a while. Well, we haven't done too many, to be honest. So. Jessica Woodstock, you did so, Check out Jessica Woodstock's Instagram. She did such a good lip sync, absolutely fabulous. Oh, God, I saw this it's and then so I tried good. to click on it and I couldn't open it. It was really good, Send Jessica. Send it to me again. Send it to me again. I did see something and then I couldn't click on the bloody thing. It was really good. I'm shy. Who's that? Emma. Emma, oh, Emma, we love shy people. Say hello to Nanny Di. Yeah, Nanny Di was going to be here too, but she's tired too. She's sort of been very tired, because hasn't she? Mark, she's when very, is she not tired? She's always tired. She's always Not tired. in an ill way, but she's just always tired. tired. Hit the thumbs up if you're happy we're doing a night shift. There it is. Not the emoji, the thumbs up under the, um, under the screen. So, um, so can I do... Oh, Alice Sadler, shy sub. So... We, we had a game of pictures. Oh, yes, we, we shout you out all the time. We see yeah. your comments. I think, we, I think we struggle with your name. Elijah. No, we talked about you the other day. I always think it's Olijas, like Spanish, where you Olijas. say the ha. Maybe it is Olijas. Is it Olijas? Olijas? Please, can you give us the pronunciation in phonetics? Because we do call you out a lot. We see your messages a lot. Yeah, maybe we don't say it correctly and you don't hear it. Gabrielle, my chocolate fudge cake was delicious. I'm shy, says David Cox. Oh, David. Hi. And we love... All our male followers. We love our, And I think a lot of you are shy and we don't Beth know Beth and Williams there. is shy. Well, I'd be shy with this Beth and I love that name when it said in Welsh. Beth and. Beth and. It's such Leslie a cool name. Leslie S, Maria Joy, Sydney Cook, I am not shy. <laughs> well, jolly good. <laughs> Judith Huey, I'm shy. Yes, oh. you can. I'll go back because Hannah said, please, please, please. Go back. I've got to find Hannah. Animal. Please, 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 can I have a happy birthday for my 21st, which was on the 1st of January. I've tried to get your attention oh, so many Hannah times. Moore. Hannah, happy birthday to you. Hannah. Happy birthday to you. Any Hannah. Happy birthday, dear Hannah. Do you want some more, Hannah? More? Happy birthday to you. <laughs> happy birthday, Hannah. Oh. Sorry. Oh. That was good. Um, I'm very shy, Xander Gibb. I know. Yeah, I, yeah. you're really shy, Xander. <laughs> you're I'm so very shy. shy. Anne Marie Roy, I'm very shy. Hi from and Roma. And the power is from Roma. Oh, we love Rome. Give yeah, our love do. to Rome. We do. Has anyone seen that Phil Spector, oh, he of the odd, odd, do you remember his enormous hair? Well, he's died Phil of COVID. Spector. He's died of COVID related illness in oh, has prison, he? 81. Yeah, you know, he was done for shooting the, yeah, his girlfriend. Yeah, his girlfriend. Because I was a mad Phil Spector fan. I had that major album with all the Tina Turner and everybody. Oh, right. I used to play it. My parents used to get so fed up. It was such a good... Yeah, he was a major, he was a major sort of music producer, for those who don't know. But he sort of, he was known for bringing a sort of cosmic, enormous mm. production sound, wasn't he, to stuff. It's sort of epic. Over and... Reap, mountain high, whole oh, mountain high. That, that's, that's really Tim. That's clarified Tim it for Phil. us. Tim Spector? Are you Tim thinking Spector's of the, man? the doctor. Yeah, he's the, the, really one you hate. the arrogant doctor on Twitter who's constantly supercilious. Lee, oh. did you see the headline? They still described Tim, him as talented but, but flawed. flawed, flawed, flawed he murdered somebody. somebody. God almighty, but they won't say that of an artist. It's funny. It's weird, Lee, isn't it? You are funny. I love what you know. It is, it is funny how in the creative industries, though, people try to find a way to forgive the terrible yeah. things people have done. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I mean, the really famous one for that is that Roman Polanski. Yeah, although no one really let him get away with that, did they? 
No, but I mean, people make excuses for Oh, him. I know, I know, because he's a bloody director. Mm. I mean, you know. Um, MJ is seen as loved. Hello. Hi, Angela Locke. How are yes, you? Yes, you can have a shout out. Gemma Howitt. Can I please have a shout out? Uh, you two have been my saving grace through this difficult time. And so are all of you. And Angela, Angela Locke, I hope you got the message from Betty. Did you find it for your plant and your card? They went next door. I think they were very, very loved. Alice Kearney, hello. Thank you both so much for this, Lewis Craig. Oh, well, yeah, so Phil Spector's died. So, um, yeah, but it was COVID. Did anyone, did it, was anyone a COVID big fan? Oh, my God, he looks so weird. Yeah, lionised producer. I can't of... remember now, but oh. didn't he say she'd shot herself or something? It Some was very awful. strange. Her poor family. It was just awful. Very, I mean, oh, very strange God. hair at the end. I mean, you know my thing in wigs. It was a very How long odd... had he been in, in prison? I think it was due to come out in four years. Oh, look, uh, he had a bleak childhood, childhood. marked by his father's suicide. Um, he had merged... Uh, writer uh, Tom Wolfe immortalised him in the mid-1960s as the first tycoon of oh, teen. No, but, I mean, Phil, he, he was major Yeah, he me. produced he produced the Beatles' final album, Let It Be. And later, the mega-hit debut yeah, solo albums were done. Was and was oh. oh, my God. God! That was him going into We're prison. just looking at a picture of him going to prison. Yeah, without his hairpiece. Frightening looking chap, isn't he? Yeah. Do you remember in the court case he was yeah, just no, so like odd? <laughs> oh my god! Sorry. Mark, take a photo of it so you can no. show them. Hang on, Hang no. on. no, wait a minute. No, you take, no, no. No, take a photo. You've got to show them. Okay, let me just gonna pull you off We've for a second. We've got to show you this. Okay, you ready? I mean, I think he had issues with his hair, Mark. <laughs> He had, he had style Sorry. issues. I mean, I mean, there's probably artists in there, aren't there? There are probably singers in there. Yeah. I mean, joking aside, though, it was brutal oh, what brutal. he did. Yeah. And he deserved and he was, to be yeah. in jail. But... What the bloody hell is that? I know, Jessica that... Woodstock. <laughs> Phil what Spectre. the bloody hell is that? I know what you mean. He looks like... You remember, you know when a dandelion goes to... Yeah. And you blow it. I wonder what happened. I wonder what... How did he prep what, that why, hair? How did he end up the way he ended up? I mean, shooting some... And I don't know if any of you saw the court case. He really believed he hadn't done it, didn't he? Oh, yeah. I mean... I mean, the denial was just massive. I mean, I know you couldn't use this as a line of prosecution, but I'd be tempted if I was the lawyer prosecuting. So I would say, can we all look at his hair just for a minute and decide whether he's actually of sane mind? Did he only kill one person? I can't remember. Yeah, he killed that. his girlfriend. He killed his, oh, his girlfriend. Oh. Uh, welcome, Amanda Vernon. Welcome, Amanda Vernon. Welcome, Amanda Vernon. Vernon. Oh. Amanda Vernon. Amanda Vernon. Amanda Vernon. Oh, I hope you're pleased that you've had an extra N put in your surname. Vernon. Vernon. Amanda Vernon. I think it's that a nice was quite way regal, to say. wasn't it? Yeah. It, was, it was like we were wandering down the halls of Hampton Palace. Good. Banana, 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 banana. You're looks doing like, it now. He looks like Elizabeth Carroll Hodgson. He looks like he's had his finger in a plug socket. Oh look, Nadia! All he has is her cat's name. Her real name is Alison. Ah, well, that right, would okay. Be well, we'll call well, you Alison now. But, I remember you because I sent you a book when I very first started on Instagram. You won uh, a book. I remember you. Ah, someone else has just joined. Who's that? Vicky Oliverius. Oliverius. Vicky Oliverius. Pardon? Vicky Oliverius. Welcome, Vicky Oliverius. You've put an extra. Dun, 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 dun. Ha, Vicky ha, Oli Spanish, Oliverius. Vicky Oliverius. Vicky Oliverius. Vicky Oliverius. Vicky Oliverius. Vicky Oliverius. You're right. Don't do myself an injury. Anto Don't let me do myself an injury, Mark. You've done one. Antonia, Welcome. Antonia Hughes has just arrived. Everybody's had their welcome songs already. Antonia Hughes hasn't. Well, we'll do you a little one in do a bit. Do a little one in a bit. Um, we shall sing you a song, so do wait around. Um, what was I going to say? No, they haven't had their vaccine yet, Karen, and it's really frustrating for me. Um, they've been offered one, but my mum, and this is quite sweet, actually, 
she got all sort of angry about it. I've got to go to a church and that'll be the place where there's COVID and da da da. So she, I actually, behind the scenes of her being a bit cross, I think she's very worried about going out. She hasn't been out mm. anywhere. Yeah. Do you think she has got worried about going out? I think she's worried about going somewhere and mm. sitting and waiting for a vaccine when there's loads of other people there. Is there, I suppose, is there the possibility for older people uh, that these places where you go to get the vaccines could in themselves be places that you catch the virus? Well, there has been... Well, no. I mean, I think they've got it sorted out. Yeah. Now, but initially, there were people waiting a long time and in long queues. Um, yeah. I mean, one of the interesting. Oh my point... God! Look at that. Victoria D's granddad's a hundred, and he had his vaccine oh. today. Oh my God! Apparently, they've done half of all people over eighty. Do you know that half of all people over eighty have been vaccinated in this country? Already. That's amazing. Day before yesterday, I don't know how many they did that is today. Three hundred and fifty thousand in one day. But half of everyone over eighty. That's. I think that's it's quite incredible. Remarkable. I think that's pretty good. You've got to give. You've got to give credit. They are credit racing, and now it's really good that they're closing off air travel yeah. because hopefully it means we can't get other variants coming in. Mm. And we, I mean, it's awful. We were saying this this morning on Coffee Mate. Awful for the aviation business. Awful for people that want to travel on holiday and all of that. But let's just wait a bit yeah. until we've got this fair. Or until we've got everyone vaccinated. No, absolutely, absolutely. Do you um, like my top? We were a bit dressed up today. Tell them what we did tonight. Well, I'm wearing my Alexander McQueen. I had makeup, lipstick, and a fancy top on, and the girls were fully dressed up. Oh, it was lovely. They looked so beautiful. We took some photos, but they don't want us to show them. We don't show anything on no. social media. No. And so we we just decided that we were going to make a bit of a fuss tonight because. Well, no, you so... were great. Nadia did a Nadia decided to cook a wagon mama's meal. It was like a truly like a night out, but it was a night in. Yeah, laid all the table, did yeah. candles and everything. I behaved like and... a buffoon. And just had really nice food and chatted and was silly. And then we played Pictionary. Oh, which and that was really good fun. And you know what? We need to do that because we had got into a bit of a thing, hadn't we? Just all lying mm. around in our black tracksuits eating crisps. Yeah. And well, I haven't. You, you, the I'm three of you have shit. got black tracksuits. I'm going to get you a I'm, black tracksuit. I've been left out of the black tracksuit track uh, club. <laughs> we do look, we look, look like, like a, a weird cult. cult. You look like you're we in a do. cult. Especially we when do. you shuffle down the street holding each other's hands. But, oh, my God, you know, just a little something like that gave such a lift to the girls. It was oh, it really... Did. Honestly, I can't recommend... You don't have to do any fancy food. No. Just put a few candles, lay it all out, say to people to go and get dressed up a bit. Not massively. Hmm. And they really had done their makeup. And, and everything. what's happened is they've run off to their respective rooms to contact friends, and they're in a really chipper mood, aren't they? Oh, it's, it's a yeah, real it's really tonic, well. I tell really you. Well. Annie Dye ran off, and she was in a chipper mood, though she didn't get Picture too far. Picture me was yeah. funny. OK, who can guess this? Who's the first one to guess this? What was that? That's pretty obvious. Nobody's saying. Yeah, but you've got, there's a time Nobody's lag. trying. Yeah, yeah, look, in a Who's minute. first, one, first one, police car. There you yeah. go, Judy Phillips. Well okay. done, Judy. So... Trina Cotton as well. What was that, guys? That's Mark's one. Come on. It's obvious, isn't it? It's obvious. it's obvious. That's all he ever says when he's right. Flamingo. Me you. Flamingo. Thank you, Emma Staple. Thank you. Uh, okay, let's see. Uh, there's a particularly good one here. Mark was very, very proud of this one. Yeah, what's that, guys? If you don't know that, then Mark, you. Mark, need... stop giving people clues. London Eye. Yeah, Ali straight C. away. <laughs> okay, uh, what I really want to know is this one by Mum. <laughs> Nanny Di did that. What is that? I, I have no idea. What is that? Okay, take a photograph, ask Maddie. Can anyone guess what that is? I'll be amazed if anyone can guess that. No, let them have a better look. What you, one of them will guess this, I'm telling you. You know what they're like. Herding sheep, ants, pirate. Bugs, spaceship, UFO, UFO, UFO. ant farm. Bugs Star Wars. Life. Bugs Wars. Counting <laughs> sheep. No, that's a good guess, counting sheep. Find um, out what it is, Mark. It's funny. Uh, I'm trying to find another okay. one. Okay, what was this one? Well, that's a... What are you doing? No, not bike. No. Look a little closer. Oh, yeah, I Puncture. got that. Puncture. Yeah, yeah, that was a good one. I got that. Flat tyre. What's that? <laughs> we'll have to do this on the Members Live for the cards. We'll do this on the next on Members Live next week. Twin Towers. Is it Twin Towns or is it New York Skyline? It's New York Skyline. It's just New it? York. Uh, hang on, there's a, another really. What the hell is that? 
<laughs> what is that? Oh, look, yeah. they sang 9-11, yeah. yeah. That was that Kiki did that, didn't she? She did, she got New York and so this, she did that. This, right. Right, so guess, what, guess this what this is? This is. was Nanny Dye's one. It looks like a character from a Roald Dahl book, What do you think it? that is? It looks like one of the twits. What do you think that beard. was? Beard. Yeah, you'd be, you'd be forgiven for thinking it was Necklace. beard. Necklace. You'd be, you wouldn't be forgiven. Scarf. Yeah, Phil Spector, good guess. Grinch. Brian, Brian Blessed. Brian Blessed is a great Did guess. Did somebody say Phil Spector? <laughs> Queen Victoria says free spirit. Super Matt says beard. No. Joe Till says scarf. Snow Richard Matt. Coulter says Henry VIII. Henry, that's, that's pretty good. good that's pretty good. Uh, um, I'll, I'll tell you. Shall I tell you? No, hang on. I want to see if somebody gets it. Noel Edmonds, that's very good. Nanny Dye in a mask, no. Father Christmas. Mel W, beheading. Scrooge. Mayor, Elizabeth I, Pat Butcher, Tony <laughs> Harvey. <laughs> Zaza Gabor, Danosaurus. Oh, oh da Zaza. I Lots of people are saying you, Mark. Yeah, it does look a bit like me when I'm not unshaven. Shakespeare, Nadia, Lucy Nads M. Pre, Thanks, Lucy. Nads pre depilation Epilation. Ep oh, Pre-epilation. Mm -hmm. Snowman on crack. Hamlet. No one's got it. Joker. Nobody's no one's going to get it. It wow. is. This has never happened where you haven't been able no. to answer something. Oh. Yes. Karen, Karen Fry. Fry. Double, Double chin. Double chin. Well done. well done, Karen Fry. Well done. I, I, were you, Karen Fry, were you going through the Pictionary clues there? <laughs> well, what the hell was that? What's Let me see. <laughs> oh, my God. What oh, I know what that was. What was it? I know that what that was. It was... Um... Pardon? <laughs> You didn't say anything. You're just making my ear go funny. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what was that? Take it. Stop oh. rubbing my thigh! You're taking advantage. It's <laughs> <laughs> making me go Hang funny. On. What? You had reinfection. No. <laughs> Has anyone got it yet? Sorry. Beavis and Butthead, that is very good. That would have been good as... Olympic torch, torch thing. thing. No, oh. but good guess. Oh, I know what yes. it is. Yes, she's got it. Sally Jenkins, you've got it. Statue of Liberty. Liberty. Yeah. It's what good. What were you saying? That wasn't what you were I saying. I was saying Stan. <laughs> she was being really rude. <laughs> Look, from a, I love it when you go... Do you like this, guys? When you go to a box of Pictionary and you see the last pictures from the last game. Oh, that's funny. And you can't... <laughs> French English. I didn't think you were allowed to. You're, you're not allowed. No wonder they got it. That was Maddie cheating with Kiki. They were writing things. Ah. Mm. Ah. Anne Hutt never got a song and has been a member for nine months. She lost her best friend to COVID tonight. Please, could you sing? Oh, oh no, so please. It would make a night. Jessica Parrott. Of course, Parrot, we of course. would. What's Anne her Hutt. name? Anne Hutt. Anne Hutt. I'm so sorry Hutt. for your loss. Anne Hutt. And hard. Very difficult times. Yeah. Oh my God, I can't imagine. Oh. Like a friend of mine's really, really good friend was ill with it last week. And I was really worried she was going to lose her, her friend. I was really worried. Um, oh, oh we're sending you so much but love. And yet again, I know, you know, all this brevity and all this silliness and all this fun is a distraction, obviously. Hopefully. But for some... It's, you know, you're in, this is a very, you know, for some, this is an incredibly intimately traumatic experience. And that's what makes me so cross about people like that Burke, Lauren, Lauren, Lauren what's his name? Lawrence Fox, on the front of the Daily Star. It just, you know, makes me so cross. All people are asking people to do is wear a mask others, to avoid, you know, people going through what, what poor old Anne Hudd's gone through. It's just terrible, mm. terrible. Just put a bloody mask on, it's so easy. Yeah, so easy. Oh. Um. Um, can I just... Ashley, I can't believe you've never played Pictionary. I think yeah. you'd like it. Ashley, your post about the yoga and the poo on Instagram really made me laugh today. I reposted it on my Instagram. Can I just ask out of interest, just interested, because I, I was on, um, I was listening to LBC. What do you think, guys? Lee Pitt, Lawrence Fox gives me the creep. Yes. I know what you mean, Lee. Yeah. 
Can you believe he was married to Billy Piper? We're massive fans of Billy Piper. I love yeah, her. It's weird. She's, man. A, she's just a fabulous woman. Can I just quickly ask you just the one question that I want to ask that's in the title about the carers? You mentioned it in Scotland. What do you think about carers in Gales not like getting 50, jabs? Apparently, something like fifty-five percent of carers mm. don't want to have the jab. Aren't going to have the jab. What? That's a massive. Are there problem. any carers here who would be able to share what the concept? Well, apparently, has been like a that? lot of them. There's because there's been sort of false information given out on um, online about the possibility of vaccines affecting fertility. Right. So this is... But this 55% is, the, is a huge number of yeah, care workers. Yeah, is, What, to believe that? I mean, we Maybe don't... Maybe there's a lot of young people in care work. But do we have proof that it affects fertility or not? No, no. how can we have proof no, of that? No, exactly. But, but I think the government are going to have to come out and get some experts to stand and just stand up and dispel the myths that are being passed around or explain where these mm. myths are coming from. Emma's an unpaid carer. Oh. I'm a carer. What do you think, guys? I mean, do you think carers not getting jabs? I mean, I think... I mean, there are some... Chrissy, quite a few people oh, you're a carer. Yeah. How do you feel about having the jab? Mm. Can I just quickly, as whilst we're getting oh, those answers... Oh, Claire Yardley Coco says she knows carers that have said no already. Oh, right. Wow. A carer, oh, yeah. Shocking. I'm a carer, I work at Have the Jab. That is shocking, putting out elderly at risk. I mean, it does seem strange that you would... I mean, no, but one I of the... Arm, one of the some arm... people have got real genuine concerns. Yeah, people I... have got genuine concerns, but I also think, you know, this debate came up around the whole topic of Pimlico plumbers as well, and this idea of should it be made, should you be penalised if you don't get the jab? Well, you can't. You get into a very you different... Can't, you can't be no. forcing people to inject things, you just can't. But do you not Linda think that's Donnelly, the last in? time she played that's Pictionary, she up. wet her knickers. I, I just wanted a moment I love that, just to Linda share Donnelly. that. Thanks, Linda. <laughs> no, that's why I stopped it there, I thought you'd like that. Um, and Laura89 had a weird dream about shopping, and everyone was not that. wearing a mask. Linda Donnelly wet her knickers the last time she played yeah. Pictionary. <laughs> So, guys, do you think that most carers should get the jabs, yes or no? Hang on, I, I don't think that's a good question. Well, no, but I think it's the question that's on everyone's no, lips think, when I, you look at the story. I think the it's thing like, is, how yes difficult no? is that going to be to manage? I mean, yes, there, people have genuine people. concerns, uh, it, but it's very, very tricky, isn't it? Like you say, human, the well, Pimlico plumbers rights. have said that you can't have a job unless you've got a jab. Well, yes. Right, and I and and they have said right from the beginning of this government that they will not make it a legal requirement to have mm. a jab. But I do think we will see more and more things that you're excluded from yes. if you haven't. I think it will sure. happen by proxy yeah. I think, I th and, and stealth. Yeah. I think what will happen is it won't be formal or legal, but just slowly people will be cut out of certain choices and, and yeah. opportunities if they if they don't. I mean, the next thing is, is that all, all teachers have homes. to get jabbed in order to stop the spread. I mean, I suppose... Well, the, it's, the it's scientists, really, it's a, re it's the actually scientists, a really complicated it's very topic. very complicated. Really, really complicated, because it does go to the heart of choice. Um, Alexander, Pimlico Plumbers did it for attention. It's funny you should say that. The uh, radio presenter... Actually, that's the radio really presenter. Because um, I did think, oh, God, now next time I need a plumber, I'm yeah. going to think... Of and the radio it. presenter on LBC was about to, as I pulled into the drive, he was about to talk to the head of Pimlico Plumbers. And he actually said, the guy, I think obviously the head of Pimlico Plumbers is a bit of a sort of uh, publicity-hungry devil, hungry devil. Oh, because the radio right. presenter said, I'm only going to say your company names, company's name once because I do wonder whether this is a bit of a, a headline-grabbing story. Oh, and what did he say then? Did you hear the interview? No, Sorry, I'm just him. undoing my bra at I know, I, I lost concentration got wrong... for a minute. Because you know Listen, I'm... listen, as she undoes it, listen. No, listen. because... Do it. Because I've got one of my old bras. It's interesting because I... You may have seen me on Instagram. It is I actually Elijah's. were. I'm an ambassador for number one bra, and they are the most comfortable bras. And I haven't got one of those on because they're in the washing. Hang on a minute. You haven't and had I've got a chat with old, me. I'm an ambassador. I've got an old bra on, and I'm in bloody agony. I've yeah. had to undo you it. You might be an ambassador for number one bra, but I'm an ambassador for your boobs. Mark! I am. Stop it. I haven't started. <laughs> oh, God, that's... Oh, pull God. it out. So I've got itchy boobs. I love it when women do that. Just pull it Has out. Has anyone got Can that you thing? You know, out? when you just take your bra off out. and you get itchy boobs. Pull it out. I just need my. I just need my nice do other the bra. Do you pull company. it out? No, I'm not pulling my bra I out. I want you to do it on no. a live. I can't because this is guys. Too tight. Hit the emojis with with a big thumbs up and smiley faces if you wanted to pull a bra out on live live. Come on, come on. You know you want to. Fire it across the room. Someone somewhere. I hate uncomfortable bras, and I wear. As I say, I have to say that I'm an ambassador. This isn't an ad or paid for, but I just have to 
to say that I am an ambassador. I work Welcome, for Maria. But these bras that I wear, number one bras, are so bloody comfortable. You never get to that point of the day where you go, oh, but this isn't one of them. This is an old bonnet. I've stuff. started wearing oh, them God. when she's not here. They're I'm really so nice. I'm itchy. My boobs are itchy cool. um, Do you want a scratch? I've got an itch to scratch. Won't you help me? Ta da ta da da da, touch me. I want to be daddy. Creature, creature, fulfill me. Creature of the night. What's that from? Who can guess what that song's from? When I take my bra off, it's like a bungee jump, says Alice <laughs> Kearney. Kearney. Thank you for that, Alice. Linda Donnelly, who wet herself by Pictionary. Show, exactly. Was it you, Linda? I get, under boob, I get under boob sweat. Ooh. Uh, we were promised a jab five weeks ago due to have it tomorrow. Now nearly 30 of us have COVID. Too late. We haven't had one outbreak the whole time. Chrissy. <gasps> wow. Are you a carer, Chrissy? Yeah. Wow. Have you seen the witty ad every five minutes? I no, so what we is have. it? We haven't had it on today. Honestly, Xander, you know everything. You're across all content. Uh, John Cook, the residents would be vaccinated, so if some carers didn't, what is the issue? Wasn't there something from the government telling women thinking of having children in the next year they should wait? There was at one point. Yeah, you're right. There was at one point. That seems to have changed as well. I think that this is about fertility, about it affecting your... Mm. Oh, maybe that's what it was. Yeah, you're right, actually. I do yeah. remember something about that now. Gabrielle, thank you. Look, Phil Spector, Pictionary, Vaccines and Bras. Nowhere else would you get this entertainment. <laughs> it's true. It's true. Fire your bra. River deep, mountain high, oh, mountain high. When we do the welcome songs for the new family guests, maybe we should think of Phil Spector songs. I can see why you can't pull it out. Mark, stop it now. No, 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 but I can see. because it's... Over the shoulder, boulder holders, Brenda McGee. That's what me and my sisters used to say. Over the shoulder, boulder, boulder holders, holders. Over, over the, the shoulder, 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 boulder, 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 boulder holders. Shoulder, boulder holder. As a young boy, I was shoulder, obsessed boulder, with bras. Holder, oh, there was sort of something that's very sort of magical shoulder, about boulder, them. Shoulder, boulder holder. They seemed, they seemed like a piece of weaponry. You know, with the clasp mm -hmm. and all that kind of man stuff. And half, man and Hanging man. baskets. Yeah, they seem to be made of whalebone. Did you ever have a whalebone bra? Oh, darling, you're talking about the bloody 20th but, yeah, but century. I, when I was young, that's why I thought they were. And I, I had a vision of a woman being skewered through her chest with a whalebone. Mark. It's a titillating chat, says Claudia Thanks, Claudia Egan. Egan. Hi, Angela Locke. Hi, Claire R Yardley Coco. Hello, Judy Phillips. How are you, Judy? Hey. Yeah, in corsets. Christine Saunderson. So, Mark, what's happening with the haircut? Whale bones are in corsets, Judy Phillips. I've always, I've always found them very tight mm. when I wear them. Mm. Do you need something, sweet pea? Yes. Uh, oh, dew drops. Welcome as a family guest as well. Right, so we are now going to sing our little songs to our new members. So <clears throat> I would strongly advise for everyone else to go to bed. I think, I think we should... Do not stay for this bit, I, I it's bad. I think we should start with a very special one for Anna Hud, who sadly lost yeah. her friend, so... And hard, and hard, Mark. Hard, Let's start again. That's really and awful, hard, Mark. Right. And, and hard, and hard, and hard, 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 hard. Mark, that's really bad. You've ruined it. Okay, I'm going to do this one. Maria, Maria. Maria they I just met a girl named Maria, Demos. and suddenly I know Demos. that I cannot possibly go. Maria, Demos. Maria, say it loud. Maria, no. That really hurt my nipple. Say it that softly, really hurt my... and it's almost like praying. Maria de Mors. <laughs> uh, Antonia Hughes. Antonia Hughes. Antonia Hughes. A lump a dunk a diggly dunk. Antonia Hughes. Antonia Hughes. A bibbly bum. A bibbly bum. Bibbly bum. Antonia Hughes. <laughs> Antonia Hughes. That sound in the middle there was the sound of Antonia Nagas Hughes. Bra coming undone. <laughs> Two drops. Two drops, 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 two drops,
Sarah Clark. Ah. Sarah Clark. Ah. Sarah, Sarah Clark. Sarah in the park. Sarah, Sarah Clark. Sarah Clark. Oh, I was getting into musical mode there. <laughs> Julie Devlin. Julie Devlin. Julie Devlin. <laughs> Julie Devlin, Julie Devlin, Julie Devlin, Julie Jackson, Julie Devlin. Julie Devlin. Julie Devlin. Julie Devlin. Somebody said surprisingly Julie good. Julie Devlin, Julie Devlin. John Cook Julie said we were surprisingly Julie good. Julie Devlin. All right, now he's showing off. Devlin. Don't say that, John. Julie Don't. Devlin, Julie Devlin, Julie Devlin. You're a Julie Devlin. You're a devil in disguise. There you go. There you go, guys. Welcome. God only knows what you've come to. It's a total mental house here. But that's fun, isn't it? What's happening tomorrow? Uh, coffee moaning tomorrow, a definite Cornish vlog tomorrow, and me, Nanny Di, and Maddie are reviewing WandaVision. Um, WandaVision. And me and Nan Nadia are doing a How to Stay Married. So there you go, loads of content, and, all and heading your way. I will do a story on my Instagram to tell you what time coffee moaning is. So if this is your first time joining us here in the night shift, we do this but a bit longer with a bit yeah. more news in the morning. So join us in the morning. We love having your company. We really you do. You cheer us up. You yeah. get us through. We get you through. Yes, Sandy. Sandra's we'll have calling a for a group well, hug. You know what we haven't done ages? What's that? A really gentle one. One, two, three, everybody together. Kumbaya, my lord. Kumbaya. Kumbaya, my lord. Kumbaya. Someone's crying, my lord. Kumbaya. Oh, Lord. You're getting a bit louder. Oh, Lord. Lord. Kumbaya.